Western therapy devices, the first thing that we're going to start with is the oxygen tank. This is your e-cylinder tank in an appropriate way. Uh, carrying the tank when it's not in a cart is securely with one hand on the bottom and one hand on the shoulder of the tank. You notice that this tank is uh, a standard tank. It has the pin indexing system on top. As you put it into the cart, you should make sure that it is secure in the cart. Now the cart will protect the tank from damage if the tank should fall over. Um, it's not complete protection, but it'll do uh, a fairly good job. When you uh, need to use this, you're going to have to attach a gas regulator to it. And the first step is to ensure that there's no dust debris in the uh, tank um, port here in the outlet. So we're going to do a process called cracking. And we want to turn the tank away from us. And this is the uh, gas outlet and we're going to attach a tank key to the stem and we're going to warn people that there'll be a slight uh, sound as we crack the tank. Cracking the tank. That'll blow out any dust and debris. Okay, here you can see the valve stem. This is the pin indexing system which has two holes in the stem which lines up perfectly with two pins on your regulator. These pin placement is specific for the gas being used. And this is the 2-4 positioning for oxygen. Okay. This is the diaphragm or washer that goes between the regulator and the stem of the um, oxygen tank. And that fits right inside and that fits right inside here there is a small little stem that uh, connects into this outlet on the valve stem. Now on the back side to the outlet and the pin indexing is a small dimple. This, this is your um, pressure release. Don't confuse that by this little dimple. The tip of your screw fits into this dimple right here. If you put it in there into the uh, pressure release, you can damage it and cause leakage of the tank uh, and it would have to be sent for repair. As you place this on, as you place this on, you want to make sure that you line up the pins and hold it in place while you turn the screw to tighten it as such. Okay. The other style of tank uh, e-cylinders is these that are completely um, contained with the tank and regulator. This regulator cannot be removed and it is always in the on position, so all you need to do is turn the, the flow on and you have your oxygen. It does come with a handle attached, and this is a, a safety handle, and it also should be kept within the cart for maximum protection. When not in use, always make sure that this is in the off position. 
Okay, here you can see the flow, it's at zero. And as we turn this, we can increase the flow typically in uh, one liter increments until you get to four, then it goes to six, eight, 10, 15, and up to 25. The lowest flow other than zero is 0.25 and 0.5 for extreme low flow oxygen. Down here is the, uh, the, the pressure gauge which shows you how full the tank is and whether or not uh, down here is if it's getting close to the point where it should be refilled. When this tank is to the refill, uh, level, you simply remove the tank, get another one exactly like this that's full.